Hello, fabulous friends and fans. Welcome to your horoscope for the week of December 11th, 2016. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an exciting week it is. Really, this, this preview of understanding of where it is that 2017 is going to take us and how good it can actually get is continuing this week. Now, last week and just at the very beginning of this week, we all are having the sun meet Saturn in the sky and getting a reality check of sorts in at least one area of life. But here's the thing, the Sun and Saturn meet once a year, and this is their annual meeting right now. And normally, it can be uh, you know, a sobering event. It can be a time of a real reality check that also brings with it a measure of humility, especially wherever it is that we've allowed ourselves to get way carried away on some clouds. This is where reality can really bring us to Earth, and in some cases, with a thud. But what is happening now is that Saturn is positioning himself to begin a series of supremely harmonious conversations with Uranus. And this very defining uh, conversation is also going to be supported by Jupiter. Jupiter is adding power to this mix. And so what's happening right now is that even though the sun is meeting Saturn in the sky, it's like the sun is lighting up the way, lighting the pathway for Saturn to come along and make these super positive and super harmonious connections. So this is something that we actually not only have to look forward to, but also it does suggest that as much as there might be some reality checks, ultimately it looks like they're empowering us and they're lending themselves to a feeling of empowerment, to greater freedom, to a greater sense of us knowing how it is that we can cultivate greater blessings and really allow the best blessings to visit us very much by surprise. So there's a whole lot to look forward to. The good that is going to come in 2017 is already starting to show itself to us now. I know sometimes it's easy to look the other way. It's real easy. And also I do think I've been contemplating this. There's sort of an addictive quality sometimes in uh, considering how negative things are. And, you know, I was thinking about one of the great spiritual truths. It's like the world just is. It is what it is. And we can decide how we're going to orient ourselves to it. We're going to decide how we're going to perceive it. And ultimately, it is through that perception that we are going to move things in a positive direction and be part of creating positive change. So I think a lot of the theme that's being highlighted now and will be over the course of this month and over the course of 2017 is going to bring home this very message. It's going to help us to appreciate this very wisdom. There can be a lot of things out there that are uncertain, that can really evoke fear. But there's also a way for us to orient ourselves that we are empowered and to orient ourselves so that we are a force for the direction in which we believe is gonna move all of us towards greater love and greater wisdom. What that's gonna look like in your own personal journey is gonna show up this month. And this week certainly is lighting the way in some uh, key ways to make those key connections into what that's going to look like for you as part of your individual path. Now, part of this also includes, yes, the sun meeting Saturn. The sun will now also speak in supreme harmony with Uranus. And so this is, again, lighting the way, <laughs> lighting the way for Saturn. But we've also got a full moon this week, and this full moon is happening in the sign of Gemini, in the sign of what we're talking about, whether it's to each other on social media or the media in general. And this particular full moon is speaking in harmony with Mars, with Uranus, with Jupiter, supreme harmony with Jupiter, but also standing across the sky from Saturn. So this to me says, yes, there's a whole lot to look forward to. There's a whole lot that can be done. But at the same time, there is a need for a little bit of self-reflection. There is a need for a little bit of reality check. And so again, what are we talking about as a collective? Where is it that we're projecting and where is it that we're taking ownership for where our lives are right now? Who's at fault and who's not? How is it that this moment can build us in a more positive direction? How is it that this moment is actually helping us to become something more, become something better? You know, as I looked at the sky, I'll be honest with you, when I looked at the sky and I looked at what's happening around this full moon, the phrase that came to mind is actually something that I read in a book by LL Cool J back in the day. Uh, LL Cool J has written a few books. Some of you may not know who he is. Some of you may really know who he is. 
uh, and they love him. Um, but I remember reading his book a few years back and in his book he said, and he's written a few books, I don't remember the exact book, but he said, pressure creates diamonds. Pressure creates diamonds. This is one of the guiding philosophies of his life when he talks about the wisdom that his life has granted him. Pressure creates diamonds. As I looked at the sky, I thought about that very phrase, pressure creates diamonds. There may be some pressure now, but it really won't take long for us to see how that is actually helping us to create diamonds, how it is that we can channel that energy to bring forward our very best and how it is that we can channel our energy to actually be a force in the world for whatever it is that we think represents our unique expression of greater love and greater wisdom. For some people, that's going to be that love and unity and healing energy they're going to bring to their families a very, very worthy and probably one of the more important uh, endeavors that we are going to take on as human beings, bringing that sense of healing and unity within our own families. Some people are going to express that in terms of the work that they do and making a contribution in terms of their career path or their life path. And for other people, it may actually end up being a little bit more personal. It may actually end up being considering how it is that they can show greater love and wisdom towards themselves and thereby help someone else to do the same. All of these are super effective and all of these create a sense of power among us all. All of these ways and so many more allow us to consider how it is that right now with all the mixed messages that may be there, okay, Saturn across a, a Gemini full moon, there might be a whole lot of mixed messages out there. Uh, there might be a whole lot of um, messages out there that tell us we're so powerful, that tell us we're not powerful. Remember, this is what we're talking about. This is social media. This is the media as well. And it may feel like we really want a reality check or we really want to know what's going on, but then we don't really want to know. Uh, and it looks very divided. I got to say, it's like some people will be super happy about what comes forward now. Some people not so much. And yet in the midst of all of that is our potential and our ability to choose that we are going to be diamonds. We are going to be diamonds together. We're going to sparkle love. We're going to sparkle wisdom. And that shine, I don't know if you've ever seen a really big diamond. <laughs> I have in museums. I think once I saw the, the uh, it was the Elizabeth Taylor collection. I remember seeing that a few years ago. Those are some sparkly big diamonds that will really uh you know take any girl aback <laughs> you have to be the kind of person who's into that for some people it's just a rock it doesn't mean anything but for some people diamonds really that's where it's at right they sparkle bright they capture attention and they demand attention at that in their beauty and their ability to reflect all of us they reflect light ultimately and they're super super strong that's what's happening to us right now we in our own unique journeys individually and as a collective, when we stand in love and wisdom, we become diamonds. We own our diamond energy. And this week and this full moon is going to be part of setting the stage to help us to own that power that much more. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'm truly so grateful for it. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, thumbs up. It means so much. And I love interacting with you guys. Facebook, Twitter, Google+, my website, NadiaShaw.com, the YouTube comments, and Instagram. You can find me on Instagram at Nadia underscore Shaw. That is the official account. I've been enjoying sharing pictures with you all. My recent trip to Istanbul, a lot of that got shared there. My mom really shared a whole lot of stuff from, it, from that and actually tagged me in a lot of those pictures as well. So that was a whole lot of fun to, to share her and celebrate my mom with you guys as well on Instagram. So thank you for all the love and support out there. Now, sometimes I am, I am asked questions that are a little bit more personal that have to do with your unique situation. If that's the case, please do consider a personalized horoscope where I can do just that. Look at your unique chart and answer your unique questions. You can find out more on my website, NadiaShot.com. Some other exciting things are coming up now. It is going to be right around with the Saturn Uranus trine because I've talked about before Uranus is kind of the guardian angel of my work and of my sharing. And with that trine, uh, I am hoping to present some things to you, some new things to you, and I'm super excited about it. Things seem to be going on schedule. I'm going to ask you guys to please send positive, positive, loving energy uh, towards uh, actually having all the things ready that I'm hoping to 
and I think that there'll be a whole lot, a whole lot uh, to look forward to. And this is really about setting the stage for making uh, 2017 a really special year all around. Uh, of course, for me, yes, but of course, as part of living my mission of affirming in the world that the universe is wise and loving. I do also want to share with you, uh, I have a friend, uh, she's incredible. She is one of the, the most world-renowned feng shui experts really alive today. And her name is Catherine Weber. She also goes by Katie Weber, I call her Katie. Uh, and she's an incredible person. I actually came across her work three years ago and she contacted me recently and she asked me to be part of you know getting her message out getting what she does out there and you know she didn't even have to ask but i was really grateful that she would ask me to be part of uh, the amazing things that she was doing so there are a couple of things i really wanted to tell you about with katie uh now katie weber there are two offerings she has that are very special. Uh, the one, the first one is something I've actually benefited from a whole lot when I first came across her work. And that is uh, the 28 day course that she offers. It's a free course. Uh, if I remember correctly, it involves getting emails every day for 28 days. And she gives sort of these feng shui uh, empowerment tools that you can use to really create a more balanced environment within your home. And she specializes in prosperity, helping people create prosperity. And she's especially passionate about helping women be empowered to create greater prosperity in their own lives. Womenpreneurs, she calls it. And so this 28 day course, I did it for free when I first came across her work and it made a huge difference. I had a consultation with her not long after that and it made a huge difference as well in my work, in the energy of my work, in the impact of my work, all of that, the prosperity factor, the abundance factor, in every way, just really um, you know, increased dramatically. And I am always gonna be so grateful to her for that. So there is a link in the description of YouTube, and I hope that you will check her out. Um, and she uh, really is doing some very special things, but that is the free course that allowed me to get to know her and get to know her expertise and to incorporate that in small ways every day that ended up making a big difference. Now, one other thing that Katie is offering right around this time of year, she always has what she calls a success pack that has to do with looking at the year ahead. So this particular success pack for this year is looking at the year ahead for the year of the rooster. Now, this to me is a must have. I always, always get this success pack because it is so thorough. It goes through every Chinese zodiac and what you can do to create, uh, you know, the happiest, healthiest, most prosperous year ahead for yourself. She's got lots of insights. I mean, really, I don't remember how long it is, but I just remember it was a whole lot. <laughs> there was a whole lot of information she gives as part of this success pack. Uh, and it really is about navigating the year ahead uh, to your highest advantage is really what it's about. So to me, that is very much a must have. This will be my third year getting the success pack. And the link for that is also in the description. Uh, regardless, if you get the success pack or you just do the free course, I cannot recommend her enough. She's a beautiful person inside and out. Her expertise just shines from her. And uh, I'm just so grateful. I'm really happy to share her with you today. I wanna thank you guys so much for supporting Synchronicity University in real time. And those webinars, the full downloads are available on uh, my website, NadiaShaw.com or at SynchronicityUniversity.com. Uh, it seems like people are still downloading them. People are still going on and purchasing previous classes. Full video downloads, over two hours long per lesson are available at synchronicityuniversity.com and they're still getting a whole lot of positive feedback. I'm so uh, grateful for that. And please do log on, have a look. Uh, there's lots of Synchronicity University stuff on my channel here on YouTube, but there's also uh, some live webinars that we did uh, last year in August and in October that continue to be popular. And thank you, thank you for supporting that. And I hope you keep enjoying that as well. Well. Of course, everything I do, you being here really is everything. As I mentioned before, my mission in the world is to affirm that the universe is wise and loving. That's really it. And I know sometimes it's hard, right? I know sometimes it's hard to believe it, but I have seen in my own life how some of the, the most difficult, the most painful times have lent themselves to um, greater love, greater wisdom, greater love than I've known before, becoming more wise than I was before. It's an ongoing journey. It's a lifetime journey. And 
now, right now, regardless of what's happening in your life, regardless of how you're feeling about what's coming up, in your own way as well, your life as part of the great mystery, as part of the great tapestry of how we are all connected to everyone and everything, your life is moving you and moving all of us towards greater love and greater wisdom. My hope with this video is that it affirms this truth to you. It allows you to, to believe and connect to um, this understanding of your own individual journey, that it is as part of your unique path, it is moving you in the right direction. It is helping you, wanting you, this force that we call love and wisdom. It wants you to own that energy within you that much more. And my hope is with these videos that you are reminded in some way of this sacred truth. You're inspired, feel more hopeful, and as you should, feel more optimistic about all the wonderful things that are coming up for all of us, but also for you ahead. Events, let's talk about events. Super excited about the events that are coming up. Well, first let me just say thank you to everybody out there in Istanbul for making it an amazing experience for me at the Astro Fun Fest. I'm so very grateful to the organizers and all the amazing people and the amazing participants and students that I met over the course of my talks, my seminar, my workshop. Thank you so much for being there uh, and for sharing a part of your sacred journey with me uh, and being part of celebrating astrology with all the amazing astrologers who were there. Thank you so much. And now we are looking ahead. There's other great events coming up. So one that I'm really looking forward to is coming up in January. It's on the 20th to the 22nd. There is what's called the Illuminate 2017. And this is part of purepowerevents.com. Now I am going to be giving uh, the keynote on the Friday, on the 20th, as part of this conference on Friday evening. Really excited to meet friends and fans out there. On Saturday afternoon, there is a workshop and this particular workshop um, is on, it's essentially like going through my book really quickly. It's about natal chart reading and it'll be a lot of fun. I just did exactly this talk in Istanbul. So it'll be really great to be uh, with friends and fans out there in Kelowna, BC, Canada and be going through my book over the course of a few hours. Now space is super limited and from what I understand, it is almost sold out workshop. And so there is, I believe there are 40 seats and um, it's nearly sold out. So if you know that you'd like to attend the workshop, please do go on to purepowerevents.com and secure your ticket. I would be so happy to meet uh, friends and fans out there. It is like expected to sell out in the next few days. So please do have a look at that. I will immediately after be doing a book signing and that will be open to the public um, sort of in the early evening on Saturday on the 21st. And so it'll be great to meet friends and fans out there for that. Now I am going to have one day available to do readings in Kelowna and it looks like it will shape up to be uh, the Sunday. So it'll either be the Sunday, the 22nd or the 23rd. A few people have reached out and asked uh, for readings, wanting to confirm uh, an appointment. I still have to make that schedule. So if you know that you are one of the people who has already said that, yes, you're definitely doing a consultation, uh, please just wait. <laughs> I'll try to get to you as soon as possible. But if you said you want it, you are going to have a consultation with me. So thank you so much for your trust. Um, and so if you'd like that, please do reach out uh, on my website, NadiaShaw.com. Use the contact form and we can make that happen. I am considering uh, doing a couple of uh, days in Vancouver because I've never been out uh, to the west of, uh, you know, in Canada. So I'm super excited to see like the whales and the Rocky Mountains and all of that. Uh, I've never been to that part of the continent, really. So I'm super excited about that. So I'm thinking about doing a few days in Vancouver and I know that there are friends and fans out there. So if you know that if you're in the Vancouver area and you know that you are likely not going to be able to go out to Kelowna, uh, for uh, the workshop uh, and you still want a consultation, an in-person consultation, uh, it'll take place just a few days before the official event that happens in Kelowna, uh, then please do reach out as well, uh, NadiaShaw.com, use the contact form and let me know that you would like that. If people are reaching out and confirming that they do want a consultation in Vancouver, then I'll be sure to schedule that in, again, because I'm hardly ever out in that part of the world. I'll be sure to schedule that in so that I get to meet uh, friends and fans out there and, and share hugs 
uh, and, uh, and all that good stuff. So I'm really looking forward uh, to my trip. I'm looking forward to the Illuminate 2017 uh, event so, so very much. So again, it's purepowerevents.com to secure your workshop tickets and to learn more about that particular event. And if you want a consultation in Kelowna or in Vancouver, please do send, uh, please do use the contact form on my website, nadiashaw.com. I'm also going to be in Baltimore. I'll be in Baltimore as part of the very prestigious NCGR conference. I'm going to be in Baltimore in February. <laughs> so it's the, the conference itself is basically the 15th to the 20th. Uh, one of those days I am going to dedicate to doing consultations. A limited number of consultations will be available. I think I'll be able to see about three or four people at most. If you are in the Baltimore area and you would like an in-person consultation, please do reach out, nadiashaw.com, contact form, let me know. Uh, and I'll have more information about my talk and the presentation that I'll be giving there at this very prestigious, uh, prestigious conference uh, very soon in the weeks ahead. So whether you're coming out to hear me speak or uh, you'd like a consultation, I'm really looking forward uh, to meeting friends and fans out in Baltimore, Maryland, also a place that I have never been before, uh, but I'm sure is going to be just fabulous. Thank you so much for watching. So how all this stuff this week, all the celestial goodness speaks to you and your sign is coming up right now. Hello, fabulous Aries. This week, we've got an exciting sky. This full moon in particular is going to be uh, taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with siblings, cousins, and neighbors. These people in particular are going to be uh, really the ones that you're paying the most attention to. Now, some of them, I think, are going to go out of their way to help you in terms of creating greater opportunity for yourself, but also in terms of love as well. Actually, I do think with this particular full moon, it is very possible that a sibling, cousin, or neighbor can introduce you to somebody, or it is also possible with a sky like this that a neighbor starts to become particularly friendly, particularly flirty. There might be some mixed feelings around it, okay? So just be prepared for that. But for all that, it looks like uh, the potential to make a connection that ends up being meaningful is there. And if you are in an established bond, I mean, really, this guy just says talk, talk things out. Uh, that really is going to be key. There might be a difficult conversation that needs to happen. And there might also be some difficult things that need to be heard. It could be a conversation that you really didn't think was coming. And now here it is. And uh, ultimately, this is about moving the two of you in a direction of greater connection and greater commitment at that. Now, also with this uh, particular sky, with this particular full moon, it, this is very like right place, right time right person, right moment kind of energy. So make sure with this energy that you are, you know, going to lots of networking events or just being busy. Just make sure you're running around your neighborhood doing errands and things like that, because this kind of sky really does suggest that you could meet somebody, a key somebody who could end up being a, a person who opens up all kinds of doors for you, especially in light of all the great things that are set to take place for you in the new year. Hello, fabulous Taurus. Well, this week's full moon is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with money. It has to do with income, making more, but also it has to do with spending as well. With a sky like this, there could be an opportunity there to make more money that could present itself, but it looks like it comes with some pressure or some increase of responsibility that maybe you have some mixed feelings about. It is also possible with a sky like this that some payment needs to happen, some expense uh, does show up. It looks like, it doesn't seem like it's like hugely surprising. If there are any surprises, they seem to be happy ones, so that's good. Um, so it could be that you know there's an expense coming, but it ends up being less than you thought. But even with that, uh, again, it looks like there may be some mixed feelings or there may be some pressure to pay up. That's the kind of thing I'm seeing. If an expense should come up, it could be connected to that. Now keep in mind, Mercury is in shadow right now. Mercury's in shadow. So what this does suggest is that if you make any large significant purchases, you may change your mind. Just keep that in mind, okay? There's that possibility of changing your mind of any large significant purchases. So it's worth it to consider um, what it is that's being asked for your resources. If it's something that uh, you know, you've seen a long time coming or it has to do with a matter from the past, that's one thing. But you know, if you go into a store and you see a great price on a, you know, the latest electronic gadget, that's where I'd ask you to take a little bit of a step back. 
everything you need is there everything you need is provided to you i'm reminded as i look at the sky for you of you too there's this great song um, called beautiful day it was huge uh, not too long ago in history <laughs> for us uh, and i remember there's a line in there and i listen to that sometimes because it really does give me a lot of energy and there's a, a line in there that says uh, what you don't have you don't need it now what you don't know you can feel somehow well a sky like this just is affirming this sacred truth for you now where it comes to matters of heart where it comes to matters of love we've got a uh, venus right now continuing to move through a part of the sky for you that has to do with the big picture that has to do with bosses that has to do with making big plans if you're in an established bond that's where your heart is thinking about the future thinking about achieving something that you can be proud of that your partner and you can be proud of together where it is that you're open to meeting someone new well those bosses may get very flirty right about now so just keep that in mind and of course it's always up to you to decide what you're going to do with it hello fabulous gemini this week we've got the full moon in your sign really you are where the party is let me say that the party is happening in your sign in your heart really right in your understanding of who you are there are set to be some big breakthroughs that are going to take place now some of these breakthroughs actually may come about may be facilitated by a partner this could be a romantic partner it could be a business partner but it seems as if another person and their influence, even possibly their pressure on you is what is causing you or is inspiring you to rise above, to be more, to understand yourself as more than you did before and to actually push your own limits to create positive outcomes for yourself. With a sky like this, yes, there is that awareness of limitations, but at the same time, there is that ability to just break beyond previous limitations and move yourself your life your world in a whole new direction a direction that feels inspired happy and is characterized by freedom that is part of what you are going for now i wouldn't be surprised if as you're starting the week you're thinking oh, okay that sounds good that sounds so esoteric i you know i wouldn't be surprised if it sounded ephemeral to you and then you're in the moment as we get you into the week you are in the moment and you have an exchange with somebody and really that ends up being the catalyst for you creating huge changes and big plans for what is coming up for you. In fact, this could be the week where the stage is set for you to start moving in brand new directions, possibly even before the year is over. That's the kind of consequential time we have. Now, if you are somebody open to meeting someone new, again, it could be somebody that you just met it could be somebody that you're interested in, somebody that you're hoping would like you. It could be this person in particular who acts as that mirror for you that serves as a positive catalyst to you becoming a more empowered, more free, and more happier self. Hello, fabulous Cancer. This week we have got a full moon happening in a part of the sky for you that is normally considered pretty quiet. Now, what I like about this part of the sky is that it can represent karmic blessings okay so that is a beautiful thing and we've got super harmonious super positive things happening with this particular full moon that suggests it may very well be a lovely surprise that comes to light that makes a big difference on your life and helps you to feel that much more blessed but at the same time we do have saturn standing across this full moon which does suggest there's another way that this energy uh, can at first make itself known and that has to do with feeling that other people are working sort of behind the scenes without your knowledge maybe they're doing things that are great for you but maybe they're doing things that maybe are not so great maybe there's some gossip maybe there's a little bit of you know not complete honesty happening. There might be a little bit of that feeling, particularly in the workplace. Now just keep that in mind. Ultimately, I do think that you absolutely are gonna rise on top. We've got such a super positive sky. I mean, it just suggests that if there is any of that, it ends up being either insignificant or it ends up being exactly what you need to move your life in a much more happy, prosperous, fortunate direction all around. But 
the much more obvious scenario is that people are speaking well of you behind your knowledge without you knowing, and that ends up reaping some kind of lovely reward for you before the week is out. Now, where it comes to matters of love, love is very hidden right about now. Love is a very private affair right about now. If you are somebody in an established bond, uh, a sky like this does suggest that there might be some things happening, some talks happening with your partner's money. Uh, it could also be that you're making some plans for a significant change with your partner uh, as well that maybe you're not so ready to announce to everyone. If you are somebody open to meeting someone new, a sky like this does suggest there's some secret admirers, secret affections playing out. Again, behind the scenes, maybe nothing you want to advertise. I would really advise you not to share your feelings with anyone other than the person of your interest. But for all that, I think there is certainly an energy there that lets you know in your heart and in your soul that you certainly are loved. Hello, fabulous Leo. This week's full moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with friendship. It has to do with friends coming through for you in big ways. And it has to do with really any kind of groups or memberships you belong to. And you're changing relationships to them. So there's a couple of ways to understand this energy. One has to do with just a friend coming through for you and facilitating some kind of big opportunity for you. Now it is possible that one of these opportunities is love related. It is possible with a sky like this, a couple of things. If you're open to meeting someone new, it could be that a friend uh, confesses feelings for you. It could be that they are setting you up with somebody, but they don't know everything. There's a lot going on with that other person underneath the surface that they're not aware of. Uh, but regardless, it looks like there's a lot of mixed feelings and maybe even some mixed messages around this. And so if it is manifesting in a love oriented way, particularly with new people uh, in a love oriented way or new considerations, um, just give it time really, because ultimately it looks like, you know, your gut, your intuition is strong you know what it is that's right for you and on the one hand if you feel it you do if you don't you don't that's okay but on the other hand you know as i look at this particular sky it does suggest that the intentions are good the intentions are supportive the intentions are loving so if you can consider that and then consider okay what opportunity is this love or work or money related and does it make sense for you it'll start to look a little bit different when you understand the motivation is love and and sort of a mutual celebration if you will as part of this energy now for those of you who are uh, in an established bond a sky like this does suggest a very busy holiday season. It does suggest that the parties are in full swing. Uh, and as much as there are invitations, you may be out and about, but it does look like it is possible. I have to be very straightforward with you with this. It is possible with a sky like this, that there is an occurrence at a holiday party that can have different interpretations. Uh, that may be something that your partner reacts to in interesting ways. Uh, so just keep that in mind as much as there is positive surprise energy with this guy i would say especially if you're in an established bond and especially if you're out and about doing social things try to the best of your ability to keep those surprises to a minimum you'll be that much more glad for it now what i do love about this week for you is the fact that we've got the sun in fire sign speaking in supreme harmony with uranus in fire sign essentially setting up with you what is called a grand trine. So what this is is super harmonious flowing energy, which suggests that all kinds of insights, positive changes become that much easily available to you. And really just downright luck could happen for you now. This is the week of all the signs out there. You will end up being most fortunate if you choose to buy a lottery ticket. Hello, fabulous Virgo. This week we have got a full moon happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your life purpose, your ultimate aims, career goals. And this is a full moon. So it does suggest fruition. It does suggest completion. It represents things sort of coming full circle. So this can be a really important week where it comes to all of these endeavors, whether it is about your career or getting a key interview or key opportunity that could happen now, uh, whether it is also about you understanding what direction it is that you've been heading and what it is ultimately that life has been trying to tell you about your ultimate purpose 
all of that is very highlighted under a sky like this. So you are set to get some clarity. Some of that clarity though may come about in circumstances that are a little bit not necessarily totally comfortable. If I'm going to be completely straightforward with you, there may be a little bit of challenging energy. It could come from your family in particular. Uh, it could come just in terms of like where you live, like you get an opportunity, but it's just too far from where it is that you live. Stuff like that can happen under a sky like this. Now, of course, I want you to focus on the positive because it's all positive. If opportunity is right for you. Things fall into place. Things have a certain flow and the universe is abundant. So don't let yourself think it isn't. Don't let yourself fall into that because I see that temptation there. There's always more opportunity. Opportunity doesn't just knock once. Opportunities are endless. They are abundant just as the universe is. What transpires now, there may be one opportunity, but it looks very strongly there is going to be more than one, and at least one of them is going to fit very nicely. Now, where it comes to love, right now, we do have um, Venus moving through a part of the sky for you that has to do with the workplace. So what this says is the workplace in particular, for those of you who go, you know, to a work environment, have coworkers, that's where the flirt is happening. Okay. That's where the, the, the energy is. That's where the love vibes are going. That's where people are having fun and relaxing the most. And that's where more easy love connections can happen. Now, remember, we do have Mercury in shadow, your ruling planet in shadow. And eventually, before the month is out, as we get just a little bit further, Mercury's going to go retro. And so what this does suggest is that what you're seeing right now and how things appear and what you think you're agreeing to might actually end up being something very different, okay, in a few weeks time. And so do remember that and strive to pace yourself if it's all innocent, if there's no misinterpretations in particular, it's that much better. Now, for those of you who are uh, in an established bond, a sky like this does suggest a desire to bring this person into your daily life that much more or to have a certain health program together. So just to get healthy together, to start eating a little bit better together, going to a new gym together, all of that seems like a, a very attractive sort of love-based thing to do instead of you know going out for a movie and popcorn. You might surprise yourself by finding uh, the two of you deciding to do some healthy and bonding activities together. Hello, fabulous Libra. This week we have got a full moon happening in fellow air sign Gemini. And this is a part of the sky for you that has to do with things like long distance travel, higher education. Uh, it has to do with being more and knowing more than you did before. Also legal matters, political matters, all of that highlighted under this particular energy. Now, as I look at this sky, there is this suggestion here, a powerful suggestion at that, that it's almost as if you are ready to be more, to do more, to really expand your horizons in some way, take on an adventure in some way, but there might be some feeling there of limitation. The hope is there, the inspiration is there, but there may also be a feeling as if you have to pay attention to more practical matters, there may even be some talking to yourself in ways that say, I can't do this. I can't do this. Now, if you find yourself saying that to yourself, that is what needs to be healed. Absolutely. There's anything that can be done. I mean, really think about the scenario that you are engaging, considering you go online, you will find lots of examples of people who've done just that. And so be open to the possibility is what I'm really saying, because the lucky energy, the good energy is so strong right now that I can't help but think that with a little bit of awareness and a little bit of creativity, you can make the change that you are longing to make. Now with a sky like this, there might be a desire to do things like if you're in an institute of higher education, you may want to do things like change your major. That may be challenging, right? That might be something that either you or someone else, you know, is saying to you, that's not a good idea. There might be a desire to go back to school or leave school and all of that. Again, somebody may say that's not a good idea, especially a sibling, a cousin or a neighbor might be one of these people who are part of sort of saying to you, no, don't do that. Now, ultimately, I do think they are reflecting something of your own doubt. And I also think that there are ways to do whatever it is that you want to do but root it in a more practical energy or root it in an energy ultimately that shows you something about um, your ability to plan is what it really comes down to. 
And so that's part of how the sky can manifest. And really, if you want to take a trip, if you want to do some long distance traveling, um, you know, really, it, it looks like things could come together very surprisingly. Remember, luck is very much on your side. You've got Jupiter in your sign speaking in supreme harmony with this full moon at that. So you absolutely are one of the more lucky people of the zodiac, particularly at this full moon. Now, where it comes to matters of heart, matters of love, you've still got Venus moving through a super flirty part of your sky. And this particular part of the sky does suggest a sense on your part of options, really, ability of being able to relax around people that you may be attracted to. And that ability to relax and bring forward your more beautiful self ensures that you're able to attract that much more love your way particularly when you're having fun. So make sure you have the focus on fun. You'll be so glad for it. That'll make you the most attractive of all the Zodiac right about now. Also, um, if you are in an established bond, it really is about doing fun things together. Keep in mind with Venus in this part of the sky, you are super fertile. If that's something you are looking forward to, that's awesome. But if not, you can channel this energy in different ways. But there is certainly a strong desire to enjoy your partner and to, to be with your partner fully and to really share some beautiful moments together. Hello, Fabulous Scorpio. What an exciting week it is all around. But for you, we have got this beautiful full moon playing out in a part of the sky for you that has to do with what we like to call other people's money, grants, loans, bursaries, insurance payments, tax returns, benefits you may qualify for. It has to do with knowing that you have access to resources, practical, but also spiritual, emotional resources at that. And so what this means is really it's knowing that you are cared for, you are provided for by a loving universe. Sometimes that care can come through a very unlikely source, right? Maybe somebody that you thought didn't like you very much, somebody in your family that you had some mixed emotions around. It could be that very person who comes through for you in a big way of show of support that they are encouraging and they're supportive of the changes in the direction you desire to go in. With this sky though, it does tend to suggest that there may be a need, possibly uh, very quickly, you may have to actually deal with a financial institution. Uh, they, it's like all of a sudden your attention has to go there. Uh, and so whatever it is, I mean, ultimately look, just be present for it. It looks like the outcomes you're really, really happy by. There's some resistance, there's some feeling of, oh God, I can't believe I have to do this, I have to deal with this, I don't wanna do this, I don't like how I feel. Like These are some emotions that might be there for a small percentage of you, but it looks like the outcomes are very much on your side and really fill you with a sense of hope and yes, abundance as well. Now, uh, where it comes to matters of love, if you are somebody who is in an established bond, I'm just seeing lots of time at home. There could be some major changes taking place now with your partner's income. So just keep a lookout for that, whether it's a contract for them that comes to a close, but it just looks like there's some changes, their understanding of what they wanna do. All of that could be highlighted now. It could be a really great opportunity that comes, but also comes for them with a whole lot of responsibility and time away. So just be mindful. It looks like there's a little bit of a trade-off, but ultimately it looks like a positive development. If you are somebody who is open to meeting someone new, it's all about the past right about now with Venus moving through the very bottom of your sky. So it is really about considering your past and maybe even attracting previous loves back into your life. Hello, Fabulous Sagittarius. This week, we've got a full moon in your opposite sign, which means it's all about another person. It's all about love and partnership. Now, this can manifest in terms of a committed relationship or a business partnership. This will also speak to those of you who are open to meeting someone new. So where it comes to established bonds and alliances, it looks like there may be a little bit of negotiating to do. It may not be the easiest thing to approach. And it may be that you are the one who's bringing a measure of realness or reality into the conversation and into the connection. It may not be the most comfortable thing to do, but it does look like there's a certain ease and a certain flow with which you're able to bring about um, bring about a greater understanding of what it is ultimately that is taking place between you and a partner. Now, it does also look like there's a lot of positive energy, lucky energy around this. It could be that your partner has some really good news, exciting news. There could be some moving involved or traveling involved, but it looks like there's a sense of all kinds of opportunities opening up, particularly for you through a partner. 
So if you are in an established bond, it could be things happening in your partner's life that end up benefiting you. Even if there's a part of you that's a little bit resistant or a little bit unsure of how this is going to go. And if those of you who are actually in, um, in a business partnership, again, it could be that your business partner facilitates some type of opportunity for you, but there's a little bit of uncertainty or mixed feelings, uh, around that. Ultimately, again, it's lucky. The sky is lucky, even with the reservations that can help you to garner more information, to be really clear about what it is that's going on. And ultimately from that place of knowing, uh, to take that much more positive steps towards a more empowered future together. Those of you open to meeting someone new, when you've got important activity like this happening in the sky, someone does show up to help you understand something about yourself in the context of relationships and love. And when I look at this, I mean, really, it's all about barriers. It's all about your own resistance and breaking past them. Now, that doesn't mean anything has to happen that you don't want to happen, of course. But what it does mean is that you get a chance to look at where you are in love and how available you are in love. And there's a real sense of acceptance as a result of seeing yourself that much clearly. I really do love this week for you because it does suggest a measure of self-honesty that can lead you towards understanding not only love, but just knowing more love than you did before. Hello, fabulous Capricorn. This week, we've got a full moon happening in the part of the sky for you that has to do with the work and the workplace in particular, your coworkers. It has to do with the clients you attract if you're self-employed uh, and the clients you have. And it also has to do with the projects that you're doing as well. Now, when we've got this kind of full moon in this particular part of the sky, it does suggest changes. It does suggest positive changes that you're really happy about, excited about, but they may come with a whole lot more responsibility. They may come not necessarily with a whole lot more money just yet, uh, but it does look really positive for your future. It does look really demanding on your time as well, but ultimately in the balance of all things, it is a fortunate turn of events that's going to create greater abundance, abundance in terms of work. Yes, but also prosperity as well in the bigger picture. Now with a sky like this, it's very possible that a female in particular may leave your work space, a coworker in particular, or immediate supervisor, leaving more work on your shoulders, but also giving you the chance to prove something that you can do it, uh, which ultimately you will embrace very readily. Um, also with a sky like this, uh, if you are self-employed, there will be an abundance of clients. There will be lots of great things to work towards as well. And the projects as well, super exciting lots of pressure, but also very exciting. Now with this particular sky as well, there's another way to look at it, which has to do with health. And this is a week that can be really good in terms of having a reality check of how it is that you're living, the habits that you have and where it is now that you're ready to make changes. There's the faith, there's the hope, there's the, the insight that is allowing you to sort of have faith in yourself and in your future and take better care of yourself as a result. So if you've been participating in a habit in particular, not the best habit to have in particular, this is where you are about to get a reality check on that and be motivated to make that change, which ultimately is going to create positive energy in so many areas of life at that. Now, uh, where it comes to matters of love, we do have Venus right now moving through a part of the sky for you that is decidedly financial, which has to do with making money and being, you know, sort of doing your thing to earn more money. And because of that, when I see a sky like this, it does suggest that if you're open to meeting someone new, just really do what's right for yourself. You know, stay focused on your own abundance and empowering yourself to do what you need to know that you can provide for yourself and the people that you are responsible for and love may literally just show up. And with a full moon like this, it is also very possible uh, that a coworker expresses some feelings, thereby creating an interesting environment, some mixed feelings even on your part as well. That's also one way this energy can manifest. For those of you who are in an established bond, it's like I'm seeing you wanting to treat your partner, wanting to go all out in some way, spend a lot of money maybe in some way on a gift, um, and there's a sense now of wanting to be generous. That is part of this sky. Now there is also the need with this to sort of keep things in perspective a little bit. 
ultimately you are the great gift, right? The partnership, the love, the, the acceptance that you give is the great gift in any given bond. And that will be understood. Also, Mercury is in shadow. It will go retro. Just give it a little time. Mercury is also going to be going retro pretty soon. And so what that suggests is choices you make. It's like things might not be what you think or the person you give it to might have a reaction you didn't expect or they may change their mind. Uh, and so remember, it really is you, the care you bring, the love you bring. And if you really want to spend money, bring a gift card. <laughs> it really can go a long way towards ensuring that your partner does get something they like very much. And ultimately what it is that they like very much is you. Hello, fabulous Aquarius. This week's full moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with flirtation. It has to do with the heart and what it wants. It also has to do with creativity and, and really trusting your creativity to lead you somewhere good, to lead you to your own proverbial windfall. It also has to do with art and artists. And so if you are an artist of any kind, this can be a time of some real strides moving forward in terms of your sharing, in terms of your understanding, and also in your desire to take your art seriously enough so that it pays off in the bigger picture and ends up being a source of even greater prosperity for you. So that's part of how this particular energy can manifest. But also this has to do with children and it looks like your children in particular are going to want a whole lot of your attention right about now. And it looks like ultimately as much as it's a responsibility, as much as you may feel like you have other factors and pressures that you need to balance overall, it looks to be a really positive thing. And it looks like it really could be a very joyous thing for you to spend a little bit more time uh, with children, whether they're your children or children of people you know, like children you have well-established connections with. Uh, these are the types of people that can bring out the inner kid in you now. Now this part of the sky, as I said, also is flirtation, particularly new love. So being open to new love, very positive right about now. It could be that you flirt with somebody and it ends up really uh, helping you to see yourself and the world and just having a, an expansive view that you didn't have before just because of that one moment. So trust your desire to have fun. Again, it looks like there may be some undesirable situations. I mean, I look at this and it's almost as if you're flirting with somebody and two hours in they tell you that they're married and they start talking about their marriage and you're like, oh my God, get me out of here. Like that can happen, but that doesn't mean those two hours were not valuable. That doesn't mean you can't use those two hours to in some way um, know yourself better and to understand what you want in love better and to see how you are in flirtation that much better, that much more kindly. Also with this sky, you know, normally I would say with this strong energy in this part of the sky, I would encourage you buy a lottery ticket. However, Saturn is standing across this particular full moon and Saturn doesn't let you have anything you didn't earn. Uh, and so I don't know how you learn a lot, earn a lottery uh, win. I don't think that really happens. I'm sorry to say, but if you have been, again, if there's some gut feeling you have, some creative vision you have, and you're willing to take a gamble, make a bet on it, it actually could pay off very nicely, especially if it's something that you've been sort of honing for a while. And if you are in an established bond, I mean, this is a time when the remote romance and the desire for more romance is going to be especially high. So embrace it and make sure you are scheduling in some very good and very productive fun. Hello fabulous Pisces, this week's full moon is happening at the very bottom of your sky which does suggest that matters of home, family, of origin, these are all very much on the agenda and areas of focus. So if this has to do with family of origin, your parents, where it applies, then this could be a time when you have to spend more time with them, <laughs> really is that what it comes down to. There might be a desire for you to be free and go off in different directions but the pressure may be on to spend time, to spend more time, to be present. Um, ultimately, it looks positive. It looks like a positive experience. It might be part of you that is dreading a certain event or dreading a certain exchange or maybe a certain person. Uh, but for all that, there's so much positive energy around this particular uh, full moon that as challenging as it may be uh, to sort of accept what you're being told to do, as challenging as that may feel, ultimately you'll be glad uh, for going in directions that ultimately help you to understand your past and your family that much more. But of course, always, always do what it is that feels right to you. I really have come to understand this. Like when you trust yourself, 
you are really changing the course of history in a way that is for the highest good of all concerned. When you are not trusting yourself and you're acting from that place, it's not good for anybody. It's, it's affirming a history that ultimately is not going to lead you in a happy direction or anybody else as much as if you honored yourself. So that's always first. But if there's any just resistance, then you know that you can overcome it. The outcome can end up being really, really good. Now, this also has to do with your home environment. So it looks like lots of adventures and things are happening around your home. Do be mindful if you're bringing in a lot of guests, okay? Uh, particularly people who are older. I'm just seeing the possibility here, a few things. Um, the possibility is there with a sky like this of um, maybe with older people in the house, something happening less than, than desirable or just, you know, somebody maybe not even that much older, but somebody more in a position of being an elder uh, just needs more rest. So you got to make sure that you have like a, a room set up so they can lie down if they need. Stuff like that can happen under a sky like this. Um, but also, I do have to say this could be, as I look at this sky, if you do have family over, it could be an elder that ends up, you know, behaving in ways that are very authoritarian and create some mixed messages there or some mixed feelings there as well. But of course, you know, understanding, patience, kindness, these are attributes that really um, make everything better. They're like a healing bomb on the planet uh, and they can be a healing bomb right where you are right now, especially when you direct it towards yourself. Now, where it comes to matters of heart, matters of love, we have Venus right now continuing to move through the sign just before yours. So there's lots going on behind the scenes, lots going on under the surface, not necessarily a time uh, to be sort of putting it out there. If you're in an established bond, I would be really mindful about like too much PDA and especially in certain environments and especially somebody seeing that PDA. So you want to be a little bit mindful of that. You know, when in doubt, you know, sit across from each other instead of sitting together and, and all that other fun stuff that couples do, right? If in doubt. If you're not in doubt, doesn't matter. <laughs> and those of you who are open to meeting uh, someone new, you know, this is the kind of sky that does suggest a secret admirer or a secret affair. Now, ultimately, it's always up to you to decide what it is that's best to do, but it is very possible now that whether or not something has manifested, there's certainly something brewing just under the surface. Well, thank you so much to all signs out there. It'll be a great week. Enjoy.